Justin, it felt pretty good to these six and a third innings tonight of efficient baseball for this ball club. Uh, yeah, um, just got out there and tried to get as deep as I could. Uh, had a rough first and then just tried to refocus and keep us there. And uh, we we're making plays and grinding back, so I knew we were going to be in a spot to win the game late. It's just me trying to do whatever I could to keep us there. 28 pitch first inning, but you settled in and settled in pretty quickly. What did you find as the game went on? Yeah, I felt like my mechanics were good early. I had a few small misses and uh, obviously hung hung one slider, and but I felt like I just stayed in that approach and uh, just pitched a little bit more aggressively and uh, tried to see what I could do and just try to pound the zone as much as I could. Yeah, yeah. What's that first inning like for you then? You're down 3-0, three batters in. Is that a moment to reset, or I mean, how do you look at where the game is at that moment? Um, I mean, obviously nobody wants to do that, but I felt like, uh, you know, I'm a starter, so my job is to get as deep as possible. I had to re reset and just say, hey, that's all they that's all they get, and just try and attack as much as possible and execute pitches. And I felt like as I went, I try I, I got a little bit better. What's your approach with Bell? Um, really good hitter. I mean, obviously uh, got a double on me tonight, and then uh, but I don't know. I'm just trying to see what he what he's doing. He made adjustments to me, and so trying to make that bounce back. And I think and I got him once, and he got me once. So uh, it's a lot of back and forth. What was that conversation with Maddox like before that at bat there in the fifth with Bell? Uh, hey, you're a ground ball guy. Uh, you can get two outs right here. Uh, that, that was pretty much how, how it was. And then uh, just went after him and tried to attack him the best I could. So your goal there is to get Bell into kind of two outs, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, double play ball right there with no outs. Um, even if it's just one run, I save as many as I can. So. Uh, getting the strike out there and get getting O2 on him and then getting the strike out, that was huge. Uh, and I knew that my next guy was, you know, the next guy is a double play guy. So that's that was always my focus in that situation, just trying to manage and execute pitches and uh, minimize the damage. You, you've seen guys come and go out of the clubhouse a whole week because of the bullpen. I mean, were you pretty aware going into this game? Uh, yeah. Um, I mean, I'm pretty good friends with all the relievers that are, are here and the ones that are coming up and down. So... Um, I knew we were a little bit short out there, and uh, just like I said, trying to get as deep as, as I could. Did you feel like the yeah, um, yeah, definitely. I felt like, you know, it's it's always hard getting late in the game with how how quality our bullpen is. Um, so if it's a close game, I was ready to go, but also I understand the, the move there. Could that be a rallying point for you too when you're sort of working through that start where you have that high pitch count in the first inning, but you know they need you to get into this game? Can you sort of go back to that and dial back in as a way to focus down and get your stuff where you want it to be? Yeah, I felt like it was. Uh, I mean, this is a this is a man's game. Whenever it comes down to it, it's a grind. A uh, couple couple pitches in the uh, extra in the first. I mean, I just had to reset. You know, I kind of took that step off. Okay, next guy, next pitch, next out. You know, and it just kind of went from there. You talked about being able just to save a run in that fifth inning, and you guys have kind of done that. You've left runners on base starting rotation as a whole, and, I mean, you've played all these two-run, one-run, three-run games, and Paul talked about how big that would be. Just the way you guys have executed to pull off this, this winning streak, has it been a little bit more gratifying in that sense that you guys have been able to gut out these close ones and the starting rotation has been able to do their job to help you guys? Yeah, I mean, uh, I feel like our starting rotations always had everything. I mean, we're right there competing the best we can. Um, with those, you know, save a run, it's, it's ridiculous to think you will never give up a run. Uh, you know, so we're out there trying to do the best we can, and, uh, you know, compete. And so maybe one, we save one run, we trust our hitters and our, our defense to keep us there and get us the runs we need to either come back and give us a chance or win the game.